Hello everyone. Welcome back to another video. Hey, uh, less than a week or just about a week. And it's time once again for one of my favorite times of the year. And that would be the Kamai <coughs> New Year. That's coming up in a week. So now would be a good time to ask you guys to help us celebrate. And uh, you can help us out to reach a hundred dollar goal by either donating through paypal or kofi.com those links are down below of course or you can purchase one or all of my books again the links are down below for my book appreciate your support thank you uh today somebody wanted me to talk about receiving mail here in cambodia <coughs> now <coughs> in this case i'm not talking about receiving packages from companies like uh, Amazon, AliExpress, Lazada, uh, or anything like that. There, there are many options available for all of those. And sometimes those options are actually less expensive than what those companies would charge you for shipping uh, originally. But I'm talking about personal letters or personal care packages maybe from home, from friends and family. Uh, maybe they want to send you some a box of clothes or some things you can't readily find here. Maybe you have a favorite brand you can't find around here and they're going to help you out. Or maybe your granny just wants to send you a birthday card with a typical $10 stuck inside. <laughs> Whatever it is. Uh, the good news is that it's, it's fairly straightforward and simple. Uh, in case you don't know, Cambodia does not have a mail delivery service you know like the kind you would expect from you know most western countries you don't walk out to a mailbox here or anything like that uh, but every province does have a main post office branch uh, a few things you need that your friend or family member needs to put on the outside of the package or the envelope. And these things are, of course, very important. And uh, the first thing they need is your Cambodian phone number. It should be written at the <coughs> top of the envelope or the top of the package. It should be in uh, very large, very clear, legible writing. And of course, the reason for that is because when your package arrives, they will call that number, the post office will, and let you know you have mail. Then you can go in there with your ID and pick it up. Generally, they will all, they will only call you once to let you know, and sometimes uh, sometimes they might even forget that. Uh, but generally, they'll call you at least once. And don't worry if you miss the call. Most smart smartphones today, you know you'll get a notification, hey, you have a missed call from this number, and you know, might have been the post office, just call them back and you'll be fine. The package isn't going anywhere once they call you, but they will call you to let you know it's arrived. Uh, of course, you also need your name. Again, written legibly, because you will have to go in and show your ID, your passport, uh, when you go in to pick up your mail. So they're sure they'll be sure to give it to the right person. So you'll need your Cambodian phone number. You'll need your name. Now, as I said, every province has a post office. Uh, and if you do a Google search for whichever town you're going to be in, you'll find the, the address and the zip code for that post office and all that. However, that's not necessary. For instance, if you just wrote my phone number, my name, and then just put CM Reap Cambodia, it would still find its way to me. Because there's only one post office here. <laughs> so uh, when it gets to Cambodia, they would know where to go, and uh, it would still get to me. So it's, it's fairly easy. But, uh, Now, how much something costs 
to ship here. How much your friend or family member will have to pay is up to, uh, there's a couple different factors. First of all, what it is. Second of all, how much it weighs. Uh, generally, shipping will go by weight. So, of course, if they're sending a letter or a document of some kind in a manila envelope, that's going to be a lot less expensive uh, through regular mail than it would be if it was a, a box of clothes or a new pair of tennis shoes or, or you know, some of your favorite items from back home, whatever they may be. So the shipping is going to go by, or the cost of shipping is going to go by uh, weight more than anything. But do keep in mind that if you are receiving electronics, depending on what that electronic thing is, there could be an import fee that you will have to pay when you pick up your package. Because they will open it and they will check. Uh, and of course, uh, you can ask them when they call you if it is some kind of electronic device. Uh, <clears throat> when they call you, tell them you, you have a package, they'll let you know exactly how much if there's any import fees that you will have to pay. That way you don't waste your time. Now, if there's something important, you might want to go through a company like DHL. That's your most expensive option, though. Uh, and that, my friends, is where the battery died. Right in the middle of a, right in the middle of the video. So I figured I'd finish it up here because now it's dark. Uh, it's on the charger. Uh, I don't have enough time to go out and finish this, and I want to get it out there. Uh, so yeah, if you want to use DHL to receive your items that they're of importance, uh, it will cost you more, but generally you will get them quicker. Now, uh, typically it could take a month, two months, three months, or even more to get a standard package that's not through a third-party service, just your standard mail. Uh, DHL also does have a tracking service, so you always know where it is. That's why I said that might be important enough to pay the extra for something important. But for your general uh, mail from family and friends and correspondence and things, uh, I don't think it's necessary. Now, I have heard of people who have said, you know, they've been here two or three years. Somebody sent them a package that long ago. They never received it. And... Uh, I can't verify those claims, but I believe it. I can, I can see that happening, some things falling between the cracks, you know. Uh, it's, it's completely feasible, so I'm not saying they're wrong or that it didn't happen. Uh, but I think in general, most people uh, receive their mail without an issue and uh, j just a general variety kind. If you read the forums or read the groups, when people bring up mail, you hear expats saying that all the time, you know, well, I've been here, I've been here 10 years and I've gotten everything I've ever, anybody's ever sent me from overseas or from my home country. And uh, so generally it's a very safe option. Just remember you need the phone number very clear. You need your name very clear. And then just the city, if you don't want to bother looking up the actual address and zip code of the post office. Uh, but if you want to be sure, you can do that too. Just Google whatever city you're going to be in, plus post office, address, and uh, Google will have your answer. So I hope that helped uh, answer some questions about how to get standard mail from family and friends. If you want me to do a video on your different options for receiving things from uh, companies such as Amazon, AliExpress, Lazada, uh, let me know in the comments, and if there's enough interest, I'll see about making that happen. All right, be sure to check out all my links down below. Like I said, I have links for PayPal and Kofi.com. Uh, if you want to help donate for our combined New Year celebration, uh, you can buy my books down there. You can check out all the other channels that are vlogging from this part of the world. They're all very good, full of great information, and uh, you'll like what they do. Trust me. And my other channel, Horror Reads, that link is down below if you want to hear me talk about the, the recent horror books I've read at least once a week, sometimes twice. So uh, give that a looky look uh, if you want to. And if you've already subscribed to my Horror Reads channel, I want to thank you as well because I just hit a little bit over 1,000 subscribers on that one. And so uh, thank you to 
anybody who subscribed to Horror Reads as well. All right, from CM Read Cambodia, I will talk to you guys in the next one.